Okay, so we're here at Santiago Tuxla Central Square. Excuse the music. Behind me is the largest Olmec head of them all. This is from La Capata, which is a few miles from here. And it was discovered in the 1950s by a bunch of students who actually were having a break from some excavations and actually sat on this large piece of stone, realized it was a bit too smooth and did a little bit of excavation and found that it was in fact an Olmec colossal head, the largest of them all. But this is probably a later one, at the very end of the Olmec era, probably a few hundred BC. And, um, and you can just see the size of it, it weighs 40 tons and it's stone from the Tuxla Mountains. So it's an amazing piece uh, and it's just here in the town square. And just behind us over there in that direction is the Santiago Tuxla Museum, which has another Olmec head from Tres Sapotas and many other pieces we're also going to go and have a look at. So you can just see the size of this, the mass of this is incredible. See it's got, it's got a hat on it, like the other Olmec heads. It's quite bulbous, it's not flattened at the back like some others. And you can kind of see the ear, hard to see the detail. You can kind of see the ear there and the earpiece and the kind of hat or helmet that goes around the top. And strangely the thing with this one, it's got closed eyes, unlike it's the only Olmec head that actually has closed eyes. It's got the classic wide nose, it's got a kind of unhappy mouth, but it's kind of almost unfinished. That's one, one suggestion is that it's an unfinished Olmec head, it never quite got completed and brought down from the mountain where it was kind of quarried and partly constructed. But still, it is incredibly impressive and it's been protected, it's got like a, a roof over the top of it and you can see some of the detail on the right ear here. Yeah, it really is quite an, it is impressive, you can't deny that it's the biggest of them all. So we're just looking at it from the side here. On the left hand side and you can see this massive Kabata 40 ton piece. It's quartzite actually, it's a quartzite type of basalt. It's actually uh, very thick, you know, going from the front to the back. You can see that just in the, um, the girth of it really. But we're gonna, you know, this wasn't found at a particular Olmec site. It may have been being prepared for an Olmec site, but not actually at one. There's nothing, there was nothing else discovered at Kabata, which is just a few miles from here. It was up in the mountains. So it's pretty amazing, really, when you think about it. And here we have the amazing JJ Ainsworth doing research here with me.